Hello everybody, this is Adam here at A-Strings and we are proud to be one of the very first YouTube channels to introduce you to the Blackstar Silverline series. <laughs> Silverline series is a brand new line of amps from Blackstar, taking a boutique styling and look with the versatility and processing power of the digital modeling age. Yes, that. The Silverline series is a really, really nice look for Blackstar. It's a really different avenue to go down. And uh, personally, I think that the aesthetic of this is nailed on. You've got the vintage style coffin plate logo. You know, we got this really nice kind of graphite tweed grill. Really, really, really nice gray tweed. And we've got the brushed silver fascia on top with the black font and black chicken head style knobs as well. Just cool, just looks really, really cool. Now let's talk about what's inside. All of the amps in the range, combos and the head and cab options, all come with the Celestian V-type speakers. Now they are V30 sort of in their voicing, in their style but they are the V-type, that's what they're, they're known as. Nice and light, all of these amps in the, in the range are really, really nice and light and portable, really important if you're out and about with these amps. We've got Blackstar's patented TVP technology. Now, if you remember from the old ID series, TVPs were valve responses, and we had six different valve styles and different uh, tones and, and characters with each of those valves. Same with this one, we've got those different responses there and we've got six different amp profiles as well. And we'll go through everything in this video. This is in depth, we are gonna go through everything. So what's new for these series of amps is they're using the Shark DSP technology. Now this is the same processing power we're seeing in floorboards and rack units without naming any names. These, these big market leaders of floor units and rack units. So I think you'll hear just how well it's able to profile all these different sounds, get the valve responses, and have all the effects, and have the sag, and have everything that you'd expect from your natural tube amp to have. The Shark DSP can do that, not even struggle. We'll see, we'll see how it sounds. So we've got six amp profiles and six valve responses. Let's take a look at the top panel and see what we're working with. So looking at the amp from left to right, we've got our, our amp voices and profiles. We've got clean warm, clean bright, crunch, super crunch, OD1 and OD2. Those that are familiar with the Blackstar range know that these amp voices are a staple for the amplifiers. We've got a gain and a volume. That's our amp gain and amp volume for the voices. Bass, treble and ISF. Now the ISF is perfect because it allows us to go from very, very, very British sounding amplifiers to our glassy, twangy American sounding amplifiers and we can sculpt and we can find our perfect tone anywhere in between. Next to that is our valve responses. So from here we've got EL84, 6V6, EL34, KT66, 6L6 and KT88. Now for those of you that know your valves, you know that these are quintessential choices for sort of legendary amps. If you don't know these valves, don't worry, this is all about mixing and matching and finding the sound that's right for you. And we'll experiment with all of these uh, coming up. Next to this, we've got our effects. We've got reverb, delay, modulation, and we've got four of each effect available here with one, two, three, four being scrolled through there and our overall effect level here and our master volume right at the end. This panel down below is where we can set from manual or panel where what you see is what you get. And then we can go into our banks and we've got three banks of four channels there. We've also got uh, an MP3 in, a headphones out, our USB, which allows us to access the inside of software so we can really tweak and we can access different functions like our noise gate, sound reduction, our widespread stereo, 
All of that can be accessed through the inside the studio. And we've also got our line out, which is cab emulated, which allows us to record also in widespread stereo and give us that kind of real amp sound straight into our door. No more talking, let's dive in, let's get some sounds and let's see what this can do. My chain for today is my Stratocaster straight into the front of the Silverline Special. This is the 50 watt version with a 1x12 uh, Celestium V-Type. Mic'd up with an SM57 into our board, into Logic, and that is it. What you hear is everything mono, obviously, because we're using a, a mic'd up setting. What we'll do as well is we will record with the direct out and we'll put it on there and it'll be the super widespread stereo. Uh, just for you to hear that as well. And that is it. So let's dive into some sounds. Okay, so let's dive right in. We're gonna go with clean warm with the EL84s and we are gonna set everything at midday. We're gonna sweep left, sweep right with the ISF, so you can hear that. And what I'll also do is I'll whiz through each of the valve responses, so you can hear just what difference each one makes to the channel. And that gives you a better idea. And what I'll do, I'll just go through and I'll experiment and I'll talk about what I'm doing as I'm doing it to give you a better understanding if you haven't seen this style of amp before from Blackstar, it might give you a better idea of how to navigate around it. And we'll get some sounds in the meantime. So that's cool, so let's dive right in. So this is the sound that I got straight away. Clean, warm, EL34, and everything at 12 o'clock. So straight away, to me, that sounds great. Let's put in a little bit of reverb. So to do that, I'm gonna press reverb here, and it gives me the option of four different styles. We've got a room, a hall, a spring, and a plate. So let's have a little listen, see which one we think is gonna be best. Room, nice and short. So by taking it up through this little section here, through this little quarter, we're getting more space on that reverb. This knob here, that's how much of that reverb is in our mix. So by going full on, it's right there, it's right up, you know, as loud as the guitar tone is. Taking it back, you know, we can really make it a bit more subtle. It's just sat there in the back. I personally like a slightly bigger reverb, so I'm gonna go on to the next one. Okay, a bit more space. Take that right up. A bit more. So again, really big and cavernous. While we're here, let's go through all the reverbs. So let's move on to reverb number three. While we're on a clean channel, we may as well check out the reverbs. and our last reverb all the way up because why not So that kind of gives you an idea of how to add in an effect and how to dial in how much of that effect. When you access the inside of studio, you can fine tune that more again. But on the panel, that's how you do it. To add in a delay or a modulation, all I'm doing is I'm pressing either my delay or modulation. And when it's red, it's telling me that that's the panel I'm in. Once again, off. This is the panel I'm in. Once again, off. Now you can stack, you can have, any of the three in a combination, any or none. This is up to you. Also, while we're here, our little button here, if we've got a delay on, that's just our tap tempo. And that sets the tempo of our echo or delay that's on there. So I'm just gonna leave it on reverb for now. 
I'm gonna take that right back because that is a silly amount of reverb for a tone comparison. <laughs> Nice and subtle. Okay, so let's go through the valve responses. Let's see just how much of a difference each one makes. Instant tonal difference there. Let's whiz through. So that is the six valve responses interacting with the clean warm channel. Now you can hear that some break up far, far, far earlier than others. Some are nice and glassy and some are really, really dark. So it's all about kind of what you want and your tastes. So for me personally, I really like the KT88. I was quite surprised that I would like that because KT88 you normally associate with like your higher gain kind of amps. Uh, I really, really like the EL34s, but that's kind of my thing anyway, Got you know, that kind of uh, British kind of feeling thing. So just as an example, this was the EL34s, and it's kind of... So really... It's a little bit darker, but you still get a nice top end. It's not too glassy and too sort of in your face and in your ears, you know? Ice picky, can be. Uh, so that's my choice for that one. So with six amp voices and six valve responses, we've got 36 options there. Some are not gonna be to your taste. Some are not gonna work. Some combinations have never really been put into manufacture before, you know? So what we'll do is we'll have a little mess around with the ISF. If you're not familiar with the infinite shape feature, from Blackstar, we will go through that and I will just show you the extremes of that and how it affects your guitar tone. So I am loaded up on a clean bright channel with 6L6 valve response. Trying to get as close to sort of the American sound, I suppose, as, as you can. And we're gonna mess around with the ISF and just show you how it affects your tone. So here we go. So I'm gonna set the ISF at midday and then we'll go all one way, all the other way and it'll give you an idea then of just how it sounds.
So that gives you a little bit of an idea of the ISF. We'll do it again with a higher gain channel as well to see how it interacts with a much higher gain uh, amp voice. If you're anything like me, you like something just a little bit darker, a little bit less glassy. So I've just taken it just a touch before 12 o'clock just to darken up that kind of American 6L6. <laughs> Just to darken up that 6L6 kind of American sound. Okay, let's have some fun. Let's play with some amp voice -ins. Okay, so my last amp channel is the OD2, and I'm going to use the KT88 valve response. Now, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to mess around with the ISF so you can hear that in action with a high gain amp, high gain amp voice. And we'll try and find a sweet spot, and yeah, we'll just have some fun with it. Um, what I'll also do after this is I will go through all of the effects as well so you can hear all that kind of thing as well. So, this is OD2 with the KT88 using the ISF. Here we go.
So as you can see, it really, really changes where that mid frequency sits. It's kind of a, it's kind of a curve that moves across the EQ bandwidth. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then join the club because neither do I. Uh, no, it's shifting, it's shifting that mid frequency and it's kind of changing, it changes the, the shape of the wave through the whole band. They told me, they told me, and I didn't pay attention. I did, it just didn't stay in. But that's what it sounds like anyway with a high gain. Moves things about, yeah? Let's look at some effects. Clean warm EL34s, sounds like this. We've already got a bit of reverb on there and we've gone through the reverbs already. So let's take them out, let's look at some delays. So delay one, there's absolutely no degradation in the tails, which means it doesn't kind of get darker and almost like age like tape does. So I'm assuming that the first one's digital. I'm not gonna go through and try to guess which ones are which. So delay one sounds like this. Onto the delay two. Now that's a lot darker. That's way, way darker. So this is delay number three, it's a modulated delay, and this is what it sounds like. So on our last delay type, sounds like it's ping pong and it sounds like it's stacking as it's going in the tails as well. So I think it is a ping pong. Uh, read the instruction books when you get them, all right? Okay, very quickly, let's go through the modulations. Thank you. 
So those are the four modulations that you get in with this amp. Now don't forget, if you want to fine tune more, you can plug into the insider software via USB and you can delve in deep and really tweak those tones, tweak the modulations, delays and reverbs to your tastes. For this last little tone example, I am using all three styles of effects, reverb, delay and modulation. And I'm also recording, as well as the SM57 into our board, I'm recording the emulated out, which is in stereo, out into a little zoom recorder which is behind us here and uh, just to give you an idea of what it'll sound like when you plug straight into your door. Uh, so here we go, here's a mess round. So there we have it. That is the exclusive brand new Silverline series from Blackstar. This model was the Silverline Special, the 50 watt 1x12 combo. There are other combos and a head and cab option available in this line. Check them out. They're all going to be on our website. That's astrings.co.uk and see what you think. Let us know what you think down in the comments below. So we've barely scratched the surface. Believe it or not, we really have only scratched the surface. You've got 36 options on here with amp voices and our valve responses that we're able to match and combine and sort of change around and really get the most out of this amp. Don't forget, you can plug it into the inside of the software, tweak from there too. The Celestium V-type speaker sounds incredible. I really do think the Blackstar have knocked it out of the park with this one. They've always been great at modeling, but I really, really, really like this amp, and I love the look of this amp too. I think it'll look great in the house. So if you like the video, just give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed, and thank you, thank you, thank you to those of you that have. We are just shy of 4,000 subscribers, and we can't believe our luck. Honestly, we didn't think that we'd even have 400, never mind 4,000. So thank you so much. We are just a little shop in South Wales, in the UK, and we do this as often as we can. And when companies like Blackstar are kind enough to give us exclusives like this, it really means the world to us. So thank you to Blackstar, to Steve and the guys for helping us out and hogging us up and allowing us to be able to be one of the first to show this amp range to the world. So thank you, thank you, thank you. You can find us on Instagram, on Twitter. Our brand new website, astrings.co.uk, is now live. We have a blog on there. You can follow us and you can keep up to date with everything that's going on in the shop. Tom, who's behind the camera, does all of our Instagram photos and everything is done in-house. Very, very rarely will we use a product photo. It's all products that you see in the shop, taken in the shop or around the area. It's amazing. Our Instagram is at astringsuk. Go check it out. So I have been Adam for Astrings. We'll see you in the next video very, very soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>